Okay, this is a, uh, a quick video on how to uh, solder in, silver solder in, these uh, filler pieces for the KTO uh, frame, uh, P22X. Um, okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to need some of these uh, various tools here, some flux brushes, wire brushes, preferably stainless wire brushes, uh, some vice grips, a clamp of some sort, uh, hammer, micrometer, and of course uh, your uh, solder. Uh, and we'll talk more about this on the forum. Uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. And uh, what I've done here is uh, clean this frame with uh, either acetone or uh, or a uh, phosphoric acid uh, degreaser. Scaler. Uh, we use this because we have this on hand, but acetone should work fine as well. Uh, you'll want to make sure it's physically clean and uh, before you get started. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to apply a little bit of flux both sides. Apply a little more flux here, that will help wet the whole surface. We're rolling it over and doing the other side. Now, I want to be sure I've got everything fully, fully uh, tin and every surface is wetted. So I'm going to get it a little bit warmer, make sure everything's flowing. And I'm going to scrub at it with this wire brush, this stainless wire brush, and uh, just inspect all the surfaces and make sure that uh, uh, they're all tinned very well. We found that uh, just a Connecting the pieces and, and trying to get the solder to flow behind the parts is uh, very difficult, and this way seems to be very uh, very foolproof in terms of getting the part uh, fully fully soldered. Okay, there's a little bit more area there that's. Okay, we look good now. You definitely want to take your time and get that, that uh, every surface coated so it all has solder on it. Then we'll go ahead and uh, work on the filler pieces. Put that in there temporarily. And uh, I'll take my uh, filler pieces. Vice grips uh, on about a hundred thousandth of the front edge. And that piece will be for the uh, Left side of the left side of the gun, excuse me. So I'm going to pick pick up on it like this. And this there's about a, an eighth of an inch sticking out from the frame, so you can uh, clamp on that without worrying uh, of doing any damage to the filler piece. Then uh, put a little flux on it. 
This part also has been cleaned with uh, acetone or phosphoric acid. So we're basically doing the same thing we did on the frame, which is uh, uh, all of the contact surfaces of the filler piece need to be tinned. And uh, so the methodology is uh, the same as what we just used on the frame. And the flux will help facilitate that. Same scrubbing method with the wire brush will uh, get that surface clean and solder will pull out. any bare metal places to apply some more flux and that will help make sure you get the end uh, the ends also because that's very important all right so that one is ready to go clean off any excess with the brush so you don't have anything sticking out Your finished finished part, fully tuned. And we're going to uh, uh, take a clamp of some sort. This uh, this spring clamp works very well. Uh, I would highly recommend that if you have one. Uh, if not, uh, any other type of clamp will work. And we're going to go ahead and lay this in the side, and then put the clamp on it and I'm going to remove the vice grips and uh, we'll do the other other side okay now we got both uh, both filler pieces in the frame and uh, got my trusty little hammer here and uh, you want to just tap them until the front edge comes even with the uh, the tack rail in the frame and uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, get these parts soldered on here. Also these ends you want to make sure put a little solder on there to make sure there's uh, 
the solder flows into the uh, the end as well. And then I'd like to tip it up. Check the uh, the bottom of the fillers. Make sure that we're we're good there. Apply just a small amount of solder there as well. And also more flux. It just helps the solder flow better. Uh, not quite done yet. We want to check and make sure that the the uh, strips are properly placed in the, uh, the old tack rail. Uh, we're just going to check a, a parallel dimension front to back to make sure that we're not too far back and 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 the fillers aren't spray out, uh, sp spreading out because they're too far back in the rail. And I think we're all set. Uh, and that's it.